new departure in automobile styling takes the road on Detroit Proving Grounds. The XNR Sportster is an idea car built by one of the major automobile manufacturers, and like idea cars of recent years, its innovations may well foreshadow things to come on America's highways. Barely three and a half feet high from the ground to the tip of its off-center stabilizing fin, the XNR carries streamlining farther than ever before. The dream car come true for one of Detroit's top designers. This is the 1960 Plymouth XNR. It was Virgil Exner's, well, he wanted it as his personal car, right, Mario? Mm -hmm. And it was shown for the first time at the New York Auto Show in 1960. And it's just a stunning car. Let's, let's just have, uh, point out some details here and walk around and, and take a look. The grill is uh, solid aluminum. It's uh, been drilled. It's about uh, almost three-eighths of an inch thick. And of course, the quad headlights on it were very common at the time. Something new, uh, which is something that Virgil was trying to do, was to incorporate all new ideas into this car and promote them for other production cars. There's no angle at this car that, that isn't interesting to look at. And he really, really put a lot of effort into the, to making it asymmetrical. Right down to the door panels are not the same from left to right. The seat is smaller on the passenger side plus lower. The fin on the one side, the engine, asymmetrical engine, the different windshields going mm -hmm. all out to, do, to, to really stick with the asymmetrical theme. Virgil Exner Jr has been a great source of information for us. We have great original drawings that his father had done, the pictures of them, the wooden bucks that they used to form them. We have to give uh, him a lot of credit for helping us out. Let's take a look in the cockpit here. There's some really, really interesting features, again, that sort of uh, uh, reflected Exner's passion. He was a photography buff, and the instruments, the gauges themselves, the lenses or the bezels that go around them all uh, imitate uh, camera lenses. As well, the glove box is uh, removable and it is actually a camera case. It's built as a camera case. A lot of concepts are, you really can't sort of drive them, but this was actually built to be driven. I mean, that's what it was designed to be back in 1960, and, and the way you've restored it now, it's, if someone wants to drive it, there's really, you can drive it. This car is perfectly drivable. There's no issues at all with driving it down the road at any point in time. The brakes uh, function. The Complete suspension functions normally, the engine fun everything functions as it would on a normal production car at the time. The 1960 Plymouth XNR, it was a concept car back in 1960, and it's a dream to drive. Thanks to RM Auctions, we got to step into this time machine and travel back to, oh, what, 50 years ago? What a blast. For Auto Week, I'm Roger Hart. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.